I just do the clothes that I really love. It's about, um, I would say, an American sensibility of class and quality. Yo, this is for the live for the rocks with official style, thoroughbred status. Yo, what's my nationality? Polo Regan. Polo Colon. Polo Regan. Polo Regan. Polo Regan. Low Life is a team of people who came together for survival in the street to eat, to dress, and for drama. You know what I mean? Low. The second syllable from polo. Before there was low lifes, there was polo cliques out there. The Ralphies kids, they were from St. John's in Utica and Crown Heights. Those were the official Ralphie kids. And in Marcus Garvey Village in Brownsville, there was the motherfucking Polo USA, the United Shoplifters Assembly. You know what I'm saying? United Shoplifters Association. Look, in 88, we combined. Rack Low was one of the main reasons we combined this low life. Rack Low used to live on St. John's in Utica. It's like, we knew these niggas, and they knew who we was, because everywhere we went, we saw these niggas low down, and, you know what I'm saying, on the train, but we wanted to get these niggas. I want that low. I was seeing low I ain't see. Yo, son, let's, let's get these niggas, you know what I'm saying? But everybody was doing whatever. Ralphie kids was crushing shit, boosting, robbing, stealing, you know what I'm saying? But when we came together, that's how low life. We was the greatest low low empire. You saw for low life. I thought Ralph had um I mean again, he had a great range of, of, of streamlined clothes and, and suits. I've always looked at his stuff and thought he makes you feel comfortable. It doesn't look like a costume, it seems very natural and, and that's what I like to wear. This is the king shirt that can be worn by anybody for special motherfucking events. This was made. This is the giant silk scarf with the motherfucking the other one to match it. The king shirt. This don't belong to this. This don't belong to one low life. This is everybody's shirt. If you get married, you wear this shirt, and niggas gotta bow to you when they see this shit. It's a religion, remember? It's not fucking fashion. Not only that, nigga. I had this road my whole motherfucking bid up north. Nigga, if you can hold a piece of low in jail, you you, you the true nigga. Niggas ain't niggas ain't letting you live with nothing. Gorgeous, luxurious. Dream, dreamy, dreamy. Special about Mr. Lauren in, uh, in fashion is that he just always takes the high road. He sticks to uh, the basics, the classics, and uh, you know, he sets the American style. We have stole so much shit in a lifetime. Ralph Lauren, this is for Ralph Lauren. I took about a $5 million worth of clothes from you, nigga. Polo, son. To be honored by people in your industry, to have grown up with you and to feel that you have rewarded me with this award. I want to thank you all. Who else but Ralph Lauren at a time when the rest of 7th Avenue is catering to casual Fridays? It's all about the low, because you know, Ralphie don't know even though he ain't on our team, we a motherfucking team by our motherfucking self. And we still low down. See? It's all about the low, son. The low is serious, man. A lot of people die. A lot of people die just because they were low lives, just because their affiliation and all that, because they ran with us or they was down with the original team and original family. This picture is within every one of my albums that I've put out because this, this is a display of what my life was like. My mother taught me what she knew best, and this is what she knew. She knew how to keep it funky on the street. Your heart pump Kool-Aid with too much sugar. Life's a bitch, but a nigga still in love with her. Que paso, bless my soul. Te cato, gun guha bruja, get that dose. Killing B. Oatman's and Macy's. It was the Millionaire Rush. I was there. The Millionaire Rush. I was there. The Millionaire Rush. Big Boo was there. The Prince 
and stolen Gore-Tex cookies. Somebody call Robert Ray. Give me a call. I'll call him right now and wake his, wake his ass up. Let him know. Come out here so he can see. We the reason why motherfuckers in the hood wearing his shit. Because wasn't nobody wearing his shit until low lights put that shit on.